Every year in April, a special neighborhood in Santa Ana has a home and garden tour. Now these are not your average homes. Just see what I mean. real estate expert Sandy DeAngelis from Seven Gables Real Estate. Uh, this event looks so exciting. Is it an annual event and how long have you been doing it? Yes, this is the Floor Park Home and Garden Tour and it goes every year and it's been going on for 18 years. Wow, now the homes are all unique. Do you know what the oldest home is in the area? Uh, the oldest one that I know of is 1904 and it's a farmhouse that was moved from Flower Street to a Heliotrope. We have a number of houses in the neighborhood have been owned by the Sigurdstroms and then also the Fleurs and the Halls who own the register. Uh, the movers and shakers of Orange County Ooh, in the early 1900s were here. This was the happening is place. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. we got to find some pictures of what it looked like back in oh, the 1900s. Oh, we have some. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, we we're going to show those mm -hmm. to you folks. We've got some exciting things. What's on this year's tour? This year we have some really special houses. We have uh, a California Monterey with mahogany floors and beautiful backyards. This room was originally the library. The cabinetry, the shelving, all the paneling that you see here is original to the home. It's probably the original man cave. It says this one was built in 1930, and I guess the Monterey is a blending of New England colonial with adobe exterior. Each house is unique. There are no two alike. The backyard design was developed using the feng shui principle, a water source, a curved path, and a large backdrop object. Truly charming Spanish-style residence built in 1927, Casa Rosa. It stopped working about 10 or 15 years ago and then so now it's all all chemicals to take care of cars <laughs> This home was built in 1929. The current owner is only the second owner. Oh my goodness. She um, did the renovation in 1997. The plaster treatment is the original plaster, which is a little bit unique for this period. Historical homes, I loved to tour because I really would like to know who owned it, how long it's been there, and the history of what's inside. The gardens span from the front yard to the back. They have lovely hardscape and a lot of incredible flowers. Traditional two-story has faux painting and beautiful, beautiful features throughout, plus a custom redone kitchen. The Floor Park Home and Garden Tour happens every April, the last weekend. And also they have a game room right to the side of the pool. It serves as the perfect getaway. I think the warm memories that seem to be just kind of in the home, you walk in and you know this is the place and, and you love it and your family loves it and it's just a great place to be. Yeah, but I enjoy the uh, homes because it gives me some ideas for my own home, even though I might not follow through on them. This next house is a must-see. It's that feeling of the 
different generations living in, in the homes. It, it's it's just it's interesting to see where what how people lived before, and then these historical homes. We get a feeling for that. I I'm a historical home junkie. And for all the guys, we have about 50 classic cars. Incredible. This year, we're featuring nearly 70 vendors, and we're very selective about our vendors. They're, it's not a garage sale. It is classic linens. It's antique silver. It's just going back in time. It's like going back to your grandmother's house. What makes a home historic? There are three things that qualify a home for historic designation. One is the age of the house. It has to be at least 50 years. One is that something historic could have happened in the house, and one is someone uh, historically important in the significance in an area lived in the house. Oh, okay. What do you think the benefit or the appeal of living in a historic home like these? Uh, they're multifaceted, actually. The first is it's very unique and it's different and it's um, something special and people are always interested in coming to your house and seeing your house. And, but in addition to that, there's a huge tax savings. Oh, so people who get their houses on historic designation of any, any significance can apply for the Mills Act. And there's oh. a huge, huge tax savings. Mills Act. Don't mm -hmm. forget that. The home we're at now, you have this listed for sale? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what are homes, let's say, I would love to take a look, but what kind of range would we be looking at to, to purchase a home like this? We'd be somewhere in the sixes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So everybody, do you want to take a look? Can you show me the home? Oh, I'd We're love totally to. excited. I'd love to. Yeah. So everybody, let's go and take a look. This is the living room. Obviously, beautiful hardwood floors. They're the original hardwood floors in beautiful condition. All the windows have been reworked and redone and they all operate. And we have um, crown molding all around with a, a faux painting on it. But one of the features of the room that I really like is this beautiful fireplace. It has this glass Italian tile, mosaic tile. It's just exquisite. Beautiful dining room, again with the with the cra large crown molding and the and the faux painting. This has doors that actually open up so you can have the, the breeze from the outside in. It's just a, a wonderful, wonderful feeling to entertain in. One of the great things about this house is this kitchen. It opens up to the backyard. I mean this is an entertainer's delight. <laughs> entertainer's delight. You can see you can have a lot of fun here. And there's so much space, you could easily have a pool, you can dance in the sun, you can do anything you want to here. It's just lush, it's like a park. It's like living in a park. The downstairs bathroom has been renovated by the owner, has gorgeous and custom made countertops with inlaid stone and backlighting. The clawfoot tub is just a great place to relax right next to the slate shower. It's so pretty! So Scott, what do you hey. think? Oh, I love it here. Thank you so much, oh, Sandy DeAngelis from Seven Gables Real Estate. Everybody, you missed it this year, but it happens every April. So you got to get out to Floral Park in Santa Ana. Great. You ready to move in? I'd like to thank my guests, Joel Ward, Kathy Najimy, Vern Troyer, David DeLuise, Sandy DeAngelis, and a very special thank you to Mickey Rooney and his wife, Jan. Until next time, I'm Scott Stewart, and that's just a slice of What's Up Orange County.